Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 55 in chapter 24. Chapter 24 is about capacitance, Dow electrics, and electric energy storage. So there, this is a follow-up problem for example 11 in textbook. You can see, initially, we have the Dow electrics right, in this capacitor. And finally, we remove this uh, Dow electrics. Ask you what will be the work required to remove this Dow electrics. So we can see the energy is uh, conserved. Do you agree? The change of energy from initial with to the final just equal to the work, external work. That means the work required to move this Dow electrics and the work done by the battery. Do you agree? Yes, because it tells you this uh, in this process, it remains connected to the battery. So that means we must consider the work done by battery. So from this one, you can see this is a work energy principle, right? That is the change of the energy equal to the work done by external. This is what we are interested in, and also the work done by battery. Now it looks like this write down the capacitance changes, right? And the final is the situation B. In this case, there is no Dow electrics. We can consume this capacitance is C0, right? This is given in the example. And then initially, we have dynamic electrics in, in this conductor. So we must use the electric constant K times the C0, right? Now it looks like the first step, let's write, look at the left-hand side of this equation. We find the energy changes. So we can write down the initial energy as one half CAV square, right? And the final energy as one half CFV square. And use the final energy, final electric energy minus initial electric energy. And then we get the function look like this one. Now this term is solved. And we are interested in the work, external work. So we look at the work done by battery. As we can see, the work done by battery, we can use the potential times the charge changes, right? So we use a final ch charge minus initial charge. And then we can write the final charge as the final capacitance times V, right? And then this one, the initial charge as the initial capacitance times V. And then we can get the equation. Look at it there. Now we input the delta U and the W battery in this function. So we can get the work, external work in this function and input delta U and the battery W. And then we get the final term. Look like this one. Input all the given quantities. You get the answer there. Thank you.